Hello and welcome to another episode of The Naked Turner. Uh, this is what I'm doing at work today. I happened to get contracted to create this big desk uh, facade by carving out this giant log, so I kind of wanted to share a little bit of it with you. So here's this giant log I'm working on. It was uh, an 87 or 89 to 10,000 pound, 8,900 or 10,000 pound log. And I've carved a little platform area here for an ADA compliant counter height. And then the rest of this piece will wrap around a receptionist desk. And uh, that's going to wrap around the desk. This is the back side where the desk will be notched into. And I've been working away with sanders, power hand planers, and all kinds of stuff to try to make this thing work. So uh, here it is. I made an Alaskan sawmill as well. And uh, I'll show you some still pictures when this whole thing's done. Just wanted to show you today. Uh, I made this modified uh, bar and sorry about the shaky cam but I bolted on this piece of quarter inch plate through the bar and then made this pivot point that's attached to this sled which goes over this two inch by four inch piece of tube steel and it'll ride this track hopefully so then I made this gantry so that I can stand up on top of here and make the plunge cut. And this is the uh, piece that I welded together and tapped out. And then there are two holes in this bar that allow me to pinch the blade here. And uh, hopefully this is gonna work real well. I'll try to post some images of uh, what I accomplished using this jig. bit of welding skills and some uh, off the shelf parts and pieces you can weld up one of these uh, vertical or horizontal Alaskan chainsaw mills relatively easily uh, it is not that hard all right so there's that cut that I made and then I've got an end cut going on here and another one straight down there. Anyway, I'll let you see the inside once I get this piece hacked out of here. Probably be sometime on Monday. And that's the end of cutting for today. Got the notch defined and made a shitload of sawdust. There it is. The chainsaw I was using to make this vertical stab cut only had a two foot bar, so I then had to come back and make a series of kerf cuts and a slab cut to remove the additional material, and then come in and chisel away and use a hand power planer to finish. Trip. 
my entire upper body and lower back after this process was extremely sore. Uh, and um, if you're going to do something like this, definitely be prepared for it to take quite a bit of time. This log was a little over 48 inches tall from ground to the highest point and 12 feet long once I had trimmed the ends off. And the notch I made was 100 inches long by about 20 inches and 22 inches deep, depending on which end of the log you were measuring from. This log was a piece of pomel eucalyptus um, and had a lot of burling on the whole outer one foot of this log. Very interesting grain. Thanks for watching. Please give me a thumbs up.